thank you for your attending to my session. I am so glad and so nervous because this is kind of my first English session. So uh, actually, I, wa I want to run away or I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so I know that you all are very experienced, great developers. So I'm really honored to be here, but I want to run away. <laughs> so my name is Madoka Chiyoda, and I work in Microsoft Developer Evangelism Division. Today, I want to show you how you can build a mobile DevOps pipeline with Mobile Center to take your apps to the next level. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself a little. <laughs> I am a technical evangelist at Microsoft. I live in Japan and speak Japanese. I can't speak English, so. Before joining Microsoft, I had been a mobile application developer using Xamarin and Azure for some years. And I joined Microsoft because I love Xamarin too much. And I love manga and anime. I'm manga otaku. <laughs> and I am practicing English. As you can see, I am not good at English. So please pardon me for my awkward English. And I'm a manga artist. I am not only an engineer, but also a manga artist. I have painted a lot of pictures. Here's for example of my artwork. My manga work, called, uh, its title is Let's Run Coding Academy, but it's in, its English version is not available yet because I, I can't translate it in English. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And I have a Twitter account and I have more than thir 30 <laughs> Thank you. Th 30 one point uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And then so let's talk about mobile app development. Ah, b before that, I was asked about if, if you can take pictures of my session. Of course, it's OK. And it's, I'm so glad that picture taken, because I have to report to my manager to work. And I have to attach some pictures of me having session. So I am so glad that I had a picture of my session. Thank you. <laughs> so. Let's talk about mobile application development. As you know, everyone in the world loves developing with Xamarin and creates application. Yeah, I've developed a mobile app. I've finished. I love Xamarin. It's, it's good. It's fine. It's so great. But this is not our goal, right? So. After this session, you can, you can walk away knowing what services Mobile Center has to offer and how it will help mobile developers enable to build better apps. Uh, you will understand the mobile, app mobile apps DevOps challenges. And you will understand mobile application delivering life cycle and you will understand what mobile center offers and how to enable mobile de developers to build better apps and finally you will automate the entire mobile app life cycle with a mobile specific approach so the mobile space has grown at an incredible rate in such a short amount of time, you can't be the developer of the best app on your first try. So even when you've got to the best app, you've got to keep bringing your A game to stay there. So 
app developers are constantly iterating to make sure the apps survive and ultimately thrive. And then they spend a lot of time and effort in the, in the cycle of developing, testing, and monitoring, developing fixes and improvements from that. Many of the tasks involved in this cycle are repetitive repetitive and setting up and completing those tasks takes valuable time away from those non-repetitive tasks to be continuously improving. Setting up the DevOps part of this pipeline is really time consuming and complex. And setting up your own continuous integration server is difficult. And then you have to figure out how to con configure it to work and sync with your testing and distribution method too. Hi. It isn't enough to just say that those tasks are repetitive, but they are made complex by the ecosystem of devices and operating systems that those apps live in. UWP, iOS, Android operating systems, and then all of those operating systems hold an endless kind of devices with small enough differences to make it complex and time consuming to cross your all market when developing apps. So there is three challenges for mobile devops. To achieve that high level of quality, developers have to build their apps, run their own UI test, distribute their apps to the testers, and learn from their users. Uh, and they have to do all of this quickly. So they turn to different services to help them achieve that. For example, they are using Microsoft products product like VSTS, Hockey App, Xamarin Test Cloud, Azure Mobile Engagement, or a third party product. But can it possible to make all these services talk to each other and play nice? It takes time and it's not always easy. I'm here to tell you that Mobile Center is changing the game in how developers create the pipeline and make, make all their stages of development sync up smoothly. We've taken these Microsoft products, which are leading services in their specific product of mobile developing lifecycle, mm -hmm. and we brought them all together into Visual Studio Mobile Center, a mission control for you, all your apps a place where all the, these services seamlessly in integrate to make the cycle easier and faster for developers. Developers of all kinds of kinds, regardless of which platforms they're developing for and what kind of apps they are making. We've given them end-to-end -end solution. You can use all of it or pick what you want. The best way to understand how we are achieving this is by seeing Mobile Center in action. Today, I want to take your spin in Visual Studio Mobile Center, specifically highlighting how to build a great mobile DevOps pipeline. I will show you its demo later. And this is today's agenda. There are three things I'd like to cover today. Firstly, I will talk about why the automated UI testing is important for us. Then I will explain mobile DevOps lifecycle. Finally, I will show you how to get started with Mobile Center. So first title topic is why automated testing. So what, what I want to do is kind of break down that three goals that uh, we have for businesses and developers for building a mobile application. 
for me as a developer, I just always want to be developing. To achieve first time to market, I want to spend more time innovating and adding new features and getting those features into my users' hands. It's very important. According to the survey, developers that are following like a DevOps patterns, doing kinds of test-driven developing first, doing user interface testing, they spend around 50% of their time on new work. Competitive developers, that are, they don't do that, are lower performers. They are only spending less than 40% time on innovating new features. They all fix bug, test the minor UI changes, and have little time to do new important works. Another goal is on the market impress our customers. We want to make a great first impression. If your application is slow, laggy, it's kind of less than optimal mobile experience, 66% of users take a negative action. Negative action means not using the application, leaving a low, leaving a low store rating, telling friends not to use it. In fact, nearly 30% of users will just switch to another application. In the App Store, there are hundreds of applications to take notes, right? So they are usually going to download the first app on the list. So applications have to have super performance and make sure it works. And it has to work all of, it has to work on all the different devices out there. So we are taking a, taking a look at mobile landscape that why this is hard and why we still get applications crash and boot. We, well, it's complicated. What is this picture? <laughs> Someone laughed. <laughs> Yeah, this is Android landscape in the market, and you can see so many kinds of devices out there. So it said Galaxy series is the most popular one. The fact is thousands of unique different Android devices in the market, and that's crazy, that I can't buy thousands of devices. Android devices are overflowing. It's interesting here that this is just device, and there are several operating systems and OEMs, and so it's even more complicated. I'll give you another complication, which is screen size. <laughs> this, uh, these are Android screen sizes. They are really small, tiny phones, watches, or 4K televisions, a lot of developers take a long time to test their apps with various kinds of Android devices. Fragmentation iOS also exists. iPad, iPhone, specific features on iOS 9, so we have to get these too. So exactly how many devices you need to buy? These, these are a survey from Dameron. If you want just United States, only targeting United States, how many devices will I need for 50% of the market is 45. So we, so we have to buy 45 devices to cover 50% of United States market. If you want to go 75%, 134 devices will need, need it. To get 90%, nearly 300 devices, it's extremely expensive. <coughs> there is even including flavor of operating systems. Speaking of iOS, there are 
iOS 8, 10, 10.2, 10.3, 11, and so on. So we have we have automated UI test service in Mobile Center, which has over 2,500 unique iOS and Android physical real devices. You can automate your app testing on over 2,500 real devices in the cloud. You can build quality mobile applications quickly and with confidence. Today, I will show you how we can build the automated test scripts for Mobile Center. There are a lot of frameworks you can use, and we love C Sharp, so I love Xamarin. I will use Xamarin UI test this time. It's all in C Sharp, and it allows you to interact with your applications. It supports the gestures like tab, scroll, swipe, pinch, multi finger, and you can text entry, rotation, and GPS. So let's move on with demo. Automated UI testing with Mobile Center. But before it, I want to show you the test application, how the my test application works. It's a it's an alarm application to keep your GitHub contribution graph green. So, so we all love GitHub. This is GitHub. In Japanese, we call this contribution graph grass because it's green. So Jap all Japanese calls this grass. Really? <laughs> really? Really? And this guy, one of my friends, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but this he is my friend and he is Xamarin develop developer and he, he, his grass is all green. <laughs> <laughs> And he created an application to keep grass green, named Keep Grass. <laughs> and Keep Grass is, of course, made with Xamarin, Xamarin forms. So I will show you the actual working. Hmm? Here, this is my. This is my real device, and uh, I I can't I can't see, but the bottom of app application there is uh, there are two buttons update and s setting ah here they are. <laughs> so this is my contribution, and when I push setting. You can you can add rival rivals, friends, add Microsoft here. So you you can. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> compete. compete. Yes, and I can add one more rival. He, the own, uh, author of this application. Yeah, they are. So this is Keep Grass. And when you hit the circle, you can see the activity, what you did in GitHub. So I will test this application. Ah, by the way, this is available on the store. Huh? Hi. App Store, iOS, Android, and UWP. <laughs> so I will test this appli application. This is the code of the Keep gr Grass. And this is the test UI test code. So I will first I will run locally. 
run. There are two tests in there. First, just app launch. Just if we can see if app launches. So app launch, so finished. And screenshot first screen. And done. And second test started, named scenario. So wait and press setting, setting pressed, and this button set pressed and enter text user. User is Chimato, my nickname, and this. And add, add rival. And entering test and tap add. So, the, so it's, it's automated runs. Hi! <laughs> uh, sorry for awkward English. So this is test. So it seems that it worked in local. So we, we want to run in the mobile center. And this is mobile center home screen. And this is keep grass. And you can see some menu. Getting started, build, test, distribute, crash, analytics, push. This time we will see test. So we we can see the test result, and we click new test run and choose devices. Beep, 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 beep. Select six devices. And we can choose test framework. I choose Xamarin UI test. Next. And then mobile center suggests to use this command. So just copy. This is copied command command and we we need to modify that for example application path so this is my application path so I prepared the copy P. so keep grass sign dot apk and we also <coughs> need to modify build directory. You need to write debug di directory. P and copy. Uh, clear and paste and run. You have to make sure that you are in packages directory. The current directory directory is must be packages. You have to make sure and it's working. So check in the device oh it seems running. Uh, but we have no time to wait to complete, so we will check the past result. App launches test is passed, but scenario test failed. So take a look at it. Main page setting select user is passed, but search maybe one of these devices failed. Ah, uh, ga Galaxy. Only ga Galaxy failed. 
maybe other test is same. Oh. Only Galaxy is failed. So this is how test worked. Okay, I, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You are so kind. <sighs> so we have still two demos. And so automated UI testing with mobile center has done. So let's move on mobile app DevOps life cycle. Me. <laughs> she says, I want to create a mobile application. After the development, I, wanna, I also want to publish them to the stores. So rec my requirement number one is cross-platform application, iOS, Android, Windows, Xamarin, Xamarin, and two, automated UI testing with various real devices. And distribute builds to internal, external testers. And, and also I want to control distribution groups and automatic, automatic and manual deployment. And I want to publish the stores, iOS store, Android store, and Windows store. And I, wanna, I want to learn from our users by monitoring and analytics. I want to know how my application used. So summary of the app delivery life cycle is first, develop maybe with Xamarin and automated UI testing with various real devices. And third, distribute build to internal external testers, then publish to the stores. And finally, analytics and crash reporting. So this cycle. When you create an app and release it, you have to follow this cycle. It means that finishing releasing is not the goal. We spend a lot of time and effort in the cycle of developing, testing, and monitoring, developing fixes and improvement from that. So multi-stage development. Just one up involved many stages. Okay, so let's take a look at Mobile Center. Just, just looking. But so first build uh, first getting started it shows how to get started but I will explain the detail of it later and then build a uh, build so it's cloned from GitHub and branches. If I cl click master, you can be you can see the pushes uh, history, and you can see also the build output, and you can also download the APK uh, APK mm? Mm. and ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I'm so nervous. <laughs> when when you click build configuration, you can change mono version and build or release configuration and build fre frequency. So I I checked build this branch on every bridge. And you can also automatically 
increment version code. But I, I off. Then test test. You you also have seen it. Ah, it's it's still running. <laughs> and distribute. You can manage the distribution group. New group. For example, out of alpha testers. <coughs> and you can add mail address Microsoft.com, for example, and create. So you can manage the distribution group. And you can also publish to the stores, Google Play Store and iOS Store. Actually, Keep Grass, the latest version, is published from Mobile Center. I asked him to do it, and he did it. <laughs> And you can also see crash report, how the application died. Hmm? Died. <laughs> I don't know how to say in English. Crash. How, how application crashed. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so this is the reason the application crashed, for example. You can see the logs and report, ah, uh, all emul emulator. And analytics, you can see how this application used. Because, because he released the latest version two or three days ago from Mobile Center, the active user increased. But uh, the adoption is still low. The latest version is 2.005, and adoption is 60%. You can see languages and countries and devices and session duration <coughs> and daily sessions per user. And also you can see events. How users use my application, you can see. But how to implement this event is shown later from my next demo and also you can send push notification so send notification click and campaign name maybe <coughs> mm, campaign name I don't I don't have any idea so, grass, the text, uh, and you can add custom data. The next, and who are you sending this notification to? So, all register device. Next, so this is review. So, if you hit send notification, the push notification will be sent, but I, I don't do it now. <laughs> and you can manage the audience. You can manage new audience. Uh, maybe so English speakers. And you can, I, I, uh, and I hit add rule. The language 
is English. So you can manage who to send notification. Mm, it takes a little time. はい。ということで。あ、from 100%? うん。うん。はい。<笑> so back to slide. So we took a look at mobile center. And getting started with mobile center, this is main topic of my session. She said, I understood what mobile center offers and how to enable mobile developers to build better apps. So now I want to know how to get started with mobile center. So demo, how to enable mobile center. To my your app. So let's transition over a demo. Log out. <coughs> so when you hit, when you open a web browser and just hit mobile.azure.com. So welcome to Mobile Center. The first thing you will see is the number of ways to log in. Today you can log in with GitHub account, Microsoft account, Facebook, Google, or simple username and password unique to Mobile Center. I, if you are already hosting your code to GitHub, log in in that way is easier. So Mobile Center has a direct link to your code. My apps are in GitHub, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in that way. Beep. And hit add new. Add new app name Monkey Fest Seventeen Demo Description and you can choose OS, iOS, Android, and Windows. React Native, Xamarin, and Java, and so on. I will choose iOS and Xamarin. Add new app. And ah, uh, I forgot to prepare the the demo application. I forgot to prepare the demo application, so I will create now. Hi, new solution. Summary forms forms app next app name monkey fest seventeen <coughs> Android iOS and next and create so it's so as you can see it's whole new app. I don't like the command line tool, so I will use desktop application. Hmm. Yes, git add. And this it these are the code that just created. So in it and publish monkey fest 17 and 
published repository. <laughs> and I check it on GitHub. Yes, <coughs> just upload it. So back to mobile center. And you can s hit build and you can s select GitHub monkey fest. Uh, it's not. M O K Y. Ah, I didn't notice. Ah, thank you. Ah, ah, thank you. Ah, hi. And it working. I fixed the code. So, what I want to do now is enable the mobile center to this application. So let's get started. <coughs> Add Nugget packages to your solution. So copy. As you can see, this is not PCL project, so we don't have packages in the shared code, so I just add iOS project. And add Microsoft Azure Mobile Analytics. Analytics. And Microsoft Azure Mobile Crashes. Add. So I add to, ah, droid? Mm. I. So we add anal analytics and crashes. So commit add packages. B. And then back to mobile center. Inside your apps, app delegates following using statement. Copy and paste to app delegate. And in the same file, copy and Paste. So, so it's done to enable mobile center. So check, so what I want to do is check if it really worked in mobile center. So I will send the analytics tag to mobile center. Before that, I will run to simulator how how this application works before before I call mm, before I modify the analytics stack this is iPhone 10 I want I want it and this is task application and when you hit add, you can add item, text, 
I want to run away. <laughs> Description? Anything okay? Really? <laughs> Save and then this is added. So I want to check this function is really used. So see the view models. I didn't view model. Maybe around this uh, around this is called when you uh, add item. So I will implement here to mobile analytics. <coughs> Using Microsoft Azure mobile. Using Microsoft Azure mobile analytics <coughs> and using Microsoft Azure mobile crashes. And I want to use dictionary, so using system correction, collection, gen generic. <coughs> Analytics track event name item property new uh, dictionary string string Hmm, anything okay? Name? Hmm, so what, what user posted is I want to know. So, item dot text. And description dollar item description. So it's done, but it's shared project, so I want I must declare if iOS and if if this if this is PCL you don't need it if iOS <coughs> here Maybe, maybe it works. So, building now. So add text. Ah, I want to have lunch. I, I was I was too nervous that I couldn't eat anything. So I have I want to have lunch. And description hungry. Save. Maybe maybe it will be sent to mobile center. E event. Not yet. Maybe it, t it will take a few minutes. Uh, but, but you can see, you, 
you enable mobile center, the mobile center knows the one user is active and her language is English, a system language. So not yet, but it must be it must be come. <coughs> While waiting, we will check the build. It's still initial comment commit so configure build build this branch on every push okay so I will push enable and uh, now it takes commit and push So now push into GitHub and maybe it work in automated build. Oh no. <laughs> eh. I don't know why it didn't work. So sorry. Ah, but event, event has sent. You can see. Ah, thank you. <laughs> ah, and you can see the what I add on the app. Description: hungry and name. I want to have lunch the count so how many times the uh, not you can see how many users tap the add button and what they added you can check so uh, mm, ma, this is that was my last demo <laughs> hey, so I I showed you how to enable mobile center and how to send analytics. So go into summary. So I I showed the mobile DevOps challenges. Uh, there are business high demand and multi-stage development and there is complex ecosystem. So to solve the problem, we can use Visual Studio Mobile Center for free. <laughs> so what exactly Visual Studio Mobile Center offers? Three things. First, life cycle services like build, test, distribute. The second, monitoring services, crashes and analytics, and third, mobile backend services, push notifications, and so on. So, you should get started mobile.azure.com, and there is there is some documentation in English. In English, I I want Japanese one, but <laughs> <laughs> in English. A aka.ms slash mobile center. So enjoy the rest of Monkey Fed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>